Hey guys, so in this video I just wanted to quickly show you this app called PT which enables you to have ChatGPT on your wrist on your Apple Watch basically. So here's just a quick overview of the app itself which can be found on the App Store. So this version here that I've got is the watch app version which I purchased on the watch itself and it cost I believe $2.99. So if we just jump into the app on the iPhone here just so we could get an idea of we can see here that you do need a subscription to get into the app so if i just click on this bit here you can see the options we have for the different subscriptions we have basic which is running on chat gpt 3.5 and then we can see here uh, premium which can only be paid so there's three different options uh, you get a free trial of the basic if you want to give that a go but I paid for the watch app separately and so I'll just use that I didn't need a, that app itself but here's just a bit more um, FAQ so you can have like literally all your questions are answered here and if I just scroll down further you can see you can get the uh, GPT-4 information and then there's pricing here which is in dollars and how that works so if I just head over to my watch and we'll just jump straight in to the app and if I just quickly go to the settings you can see you got first op option here to unlock GPT-4 and it gives you a little bit of information and you can purchase it directly on the watch separate from the app on the iPhone and if I just go back we can check here you can change the icon you can change the theme color you can enable speech you can change the speech volume Welcome. and then just a little bit of information there at the bottom but if I just hit ask me anything how to clean white shoes and then just hit the done button on the top and give it a little while to think so to speak and we'll see what it spits back up to clean white shoes first remove any loose dirt or debris with a soft bristle brush then mix a solution of equal parts water and white vinegar and use a soft cloth to gently scrub the shoe so as you scroll down you can basically turn off the audio back that you're getting from the watch and then if you share it you can send it via sms or share it on social media or even email it to yourself so the response you can check on your phone later but i'm just gonna ask it another thing recipe for beef lasagna i mean i can see the use case for this if you're in a pinch and you just need to get something quickly if you're not if you don't have your phone to hand ingredients one pound ground beef one onion Chop three cloves garlic, minced one jar, 24 off. And again, if I just send it to myself, so you can literally just get whatever the response was sent to you, whichever method you like. So you can kind of read up on it later. But to get back to the main bit, you can just scroll down. We can go to done. I'm just going to ask you Write a letter to my manager saying I am unwell to work See what we get with that response It's just basically chat GPT but just on your wrist So if there's a use case for it, I guess there is But just something that I thought I'd give a go, see what it's like Dear manager, I hope this letter finds well, so you can see this little letter here. I am here. writing to inform you that I am currently unable to work. I'm just going to add it a bit more to it. Make the letter longer. Oh, well, I'm going to read. Make the letter longer. But I guess I still will figure out what I'm trying to say. And give that a little while. I mean, it does take about 10 seconds depending on the request. Dear manager, I hope this letter finds you well. Unfortunately, I am writing to inform so you that, that I am it's currently now unable to perform and it's got my a bit work duties due to so, Not bad, all. Not bad. 
and this was the SMS that I sent to myself so I have that beef lasagna recipe that I had asked it to send to me anyways that was just a quick overview of PT it's available on the App Store or the App Store on your Apple Watch so check it out give it a go see what you think of it uh, overall not a bad app so I'll see if I have any use cases for it if it's actually useful for me or not maybe maybe not but we'll see anyways thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit the like button and keep it locked for more content and I'll catch you guys in the next one take care